All right, welcome back. Now we're on to problem, problem number four. All right, problem number four. A continuous line of charge lies along the x-axis extending from x equals positive x naught to positive infinity. The line carries charge with a uniform linear charge density, lambda naught. What is the magnitude of the electric field at the origin? Use the following as necessary. Got it, okay. So, ah. Uh, this is going to use some integrals. So we're going to first draw a picture. We're trying to find the electric field. Make sure I'm right. Yep. So with the picture, let's see here. So draw the line of charge like so. Then I'll draw this goes to infinity. They both go to infinity. And this goes to zero, goes out this way, and this starts at x naught. Okay, so the equation for electric field is E equals K Q or R squared. I'm gonna say a small bit of E is created by a small bit of Q. They give us a lambda here, so I'm going to assume we use lambda. So I'm going to use the, my knowledge that lambda is a small bit of Q over a small bit of length. I'm going to use x for length, since they seem to be using x for length anyway, and it's all along the x-axis. All right, rearranging this guy, we have lambda delta x equals delta Q. Q. There we go. Hmm, what's R? So I'm going to say that R is, ah, I should probably define my section right here. This guy right there is going to be delta Q. And then I'm going to say that this guy right here is X. So I'm going to say that R equals X. There we go. Let's write this out and see if something magical just kind of happens. So if you haven't noticed by now, my general philosophy with um, these kind of questions is you take everything that you know is probably going to be in the problem, put it in a box, and you shake it, and you look at the box. If it's what you want, then it's good, you're done. If it's not, then you shake it some more. So throw things together, see if it works. OK, uh, lambda delta x, hmm. delta x over Hmm, they're kind of moody today. There we go. Over x squared, which I'm going to then rewrite as k lambda x to the negative second delta x. All right. Then to find the electric field, we'll integrate both sides. We know that uh, x to the negative second ah, integrals. So we're going to raise the power by 1 and then flip it over. Ah, I'm terrible at this. So for x, that goes to, because it's x to the first, goes to x squared over 2. So you raise the power by 1, and then you move that power to the bottom. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then we divide by negative 1. And then we solve our constants, k and lambda. And then this will be integrated from one point to the other. Now, the point that we're going to integrate from is we're going to start at x naught. And we're going to go to infinity. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the, the infinite rod, half infinite, semi infinite, starts at x naught. And it goes to infinity. Um, now, that should be a, this is a negative one, so that's negative. So I'm going to flip the limits of integration. I just don't like negative numbers. I like to be a very positive person. Kind of like Charlie Sheen. Uh, 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 too soon, too soon. All right. K lambda over x over, or x naught over infinity. There we go. So then k lambda divided by infinity will be 0. So we know this limit is going to go to 0. So this is going to be k lambda over x naught. That 
It's going to be the magnitude of the electric field. I think that's going to be the magnitude of the electric field. Yes, I'm quite confident. Quite confident. K lambda over x naught. There we go. K lambda over x naught. Ooh, that probably even looks reasonably hand. Yeah, it looks reasonably red. All right. So now we need to find the direction of the electric field. So I should probably backtrack a little bit, see what happened there. So no real idea what we're doing. Um, you have lambda naught, so we're probably going to use lambda. So we write out the definition of lambda, linear charge density. Um, if you're using lambda, or you're finding an electric field, if you're using lambda, you're probably going to use an integral. Um, we know they ask for electric fields, so we write out the equation for electric field. We turn the electric field into uh, basically an integral by saying a small section of uh, electric field will be will give us a small um, we'll get a small amount of electric field from a small amount of charge, and then we define everything. R we know it's going to be x in this case. We know we're going to start at x naught. We're going to end infinity. We just plug things in, and it works out. And it gives us an answer that's reasonable. It's not going to give us an infinite electric field. So that's reassuring in life. All right. So now we need to find the direction. I'm just going to use it, this small section and assume that the direction for every section is going to be the same. So this section right here is positive. Is it positive? I'm going to assume it's positive. Positive charge. Yep, positive charge. So this section is going to be positive, so it's going to act like a source, and it's going to shoot electric fields out in both directions. And where it crosses the uh, origin, we know that it's moving in the negative x direction. So the direction of the electric field at the origin will be negative x. <clears throat> yep, and that's all we got for that one. I will see you on the next problem. Cheerio.